Uh, hello, this is the Getty Kids here, and I'm going to show you how to make a simple follower and uh, follow the videos here. So, first thing you want to do is hit data, and then you might have things ticked here. Just untick them all real quick. Uh, but uh, this is a simple follower, like you won't be able to talk to them or trade anything. Uh, you could trade things with them if you have like Groovatron installed, but if you don't, then he's just going to be following you around. Uh, that's pretty much it. You can't tell him to wait or anything, so unless if you set him so he can die, then he'll fucking die. But other than that, he's going to be kind of pretty much like your slave just following you around. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm kind of a meme ward myself, so I'm going to just go and get a cult classic NPC here. Easy Pete here, as you can see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit him. And then I'm going to change his ID to whatever I like. I'm just going to change it to this. And I'm going to leave it. You can... You can actually make your own character, or you can tweak uh, whichever character you want to uh, meet your uh, requirements. I'm going to make him essential so he can't fucking die on me. And uh, yeah, that's about it, what I'm going to do for now. And if it gives you this, if you're uh, editing a pre-existing NPC, I would highly suggest you uh, create a new form. Unless if you want to use the original one, but that can break quests and shit. Uh, yeah, so what I would do is I hit multi-level, uh, remove all his previous factions. I like to make them on my side. Uh, this looks all good. Make sure he's on aggressive and foolhardy, otherwise he'll fucking just puss out and run away. Uh, let's get rid of all these AI packages. And as of right now, uh, Easy Pete is just, you know, Easy Pete, he's just doing his thing. Uh, you can give him, I'm oh, sorry, my phone went off. You, you can give him fucking weapons if you want, but I'm going to leave him this vanilla Easy Pete, you know, classic Easy Pete. And to make him actually follow you, you need to make an AI package. So uh, let's make it follow. Make the name for this. So let's, let's call this player follow. And then specific reference. Play ref. And then you will want to change this because if you leave it at zero, he'll be up your ass constantly. Like, it'll just be annoying for you, honestly, if you don't change it to like. I would say probably three to five hundred, so let's just make it a nice happy medium, maybe, like so four fifty, oh shit, four fifty, it's probably not medium, but whatever, uh, and flags, you should always allow swimming, allow falls, just so he won't fucking do retarded pathfinding to get to you, he'll just fucking jump off a cliff if he needs to, which, uh, if you like that, fucking click that. That's pretty good. Let's do that, and then he'll have that. That's good. Uh, and, you know, he's pretty much the same. You can fuck around with his inventory a little bit more if you want to. Actually, I'll do that as an example for you. I'll just give him like a knife or something, just for when his fucking. I'll give him a puke kill actually. Uh, just so when. He drops his revolver, he'll have something to fall back on, I guess. But after he drops that, then if you don't have the mod Groovatron, then he'll just have to pick up weapons on his own. And they can be kind of dumb when they pick up weapons on their own, to be honest, but fucking whatever. <laughs> Anyways, now that that's done, uh, you should save and just call it down. I'll just go call it on Easy Pete. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
uh, before I forget, you should always place him in uh, the world, or otherwise he just won't exist in the game unless you spawn him with console commands, I guess. But, you know, it's kind of fucking pointless if you're not going to be a fucking cheater. Uh, I'm going to put my guy in... Fuck it, I'm going to put him in Jacob's Town. Seems like a good place for uh, an easy P clone, I guess. Uh, fuck. I'll just do that anyways. Uh, since I used a uh, quest folder and I didn't remove like the quest packages and shit associated with him, like whenever you do the ghost town quest, he, like it'll tell it'll tell me to kill him. But fucking, I'll I'll fix that later. Hell, I'll, I'll show you if you ask for that to do that. But yeah, he should be in game now. So I'm just gonna save again, and then I'll see you in game. Okay, so we are in game. Uh. Never mind these guys, these are some of my custom fucking followers. Uh, but as you can see, here he is. Uh, I don't think he was that white before, but fuck it, whatever. Uh, yeah, and he'll just follow you and kill shit. Uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want with him, fucking make him kill people. You can fuck him, I don't care. You can do whatever you want with him. Kill him. Okay. Yeah, that little bastard just got fucked up, but, yeah. Uh, since we made him essential, he'll come back alive. I, I, I hope. Oh, there he is. Old fuck, but, anyways. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you that he will attack, uh, enemies. Also on an NCR Ranger. I'll turn it on gun mode just for the sake of uh, practice, I guess. And then, yeah, as, as you can see, uh, these people just like try to cap, cap the guy's ass. So, anyways, uh, this is a tutorial on the drone follower. Uh, so, if you can't hear me over the fucking ballistic warfare over there, fuck. Uh, Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, that guy just got fucking murdered in cold blood. Thanks for watching.